Communities in Matari to smile soon as Soba chairman promises to construct the collapse bridge linking them with neighboring villages. Report on the deplorable condition of Kag Kagoro Manchok just road attracts government's attention. Gully erosion causing havoc hampers movement of some communities in Kachia local government area. Hello and welcome to this edition of our special news magazine program, Kaduna Reports. The program features happenings at the grassroots and what local government councils are doing to address issues affecting the day-to-day -day lives of people at that level. Remain with us for details of reports that make up today's package. I am Hadiza Bayer Aliu. Welcome. Bridges are critical components of a nation's infrastructure, making it possible to convey raw materials and finished goods to factories, markets, stores, wholesalers, retailers, commercial places, and to consumers. They also facilitate movement of people and services from one community to the other. Currently, people of Matari community in Soba local government area are in dire need of this opportunity as they have been facing challenges of transportation and movement across the Matari Bridge to other communities. The people of the community have for years appealed to the state and local government to do the needful, but that is yet to be done. Following more appeals, Chairman of the Council, Engineer Suleiman Yahya Richifa, has finally declared the commitment of the Council to reconstruct the bridge. In this report, Abu Bakr Dayaro says that the chairman made this known when he paid a visit to the community to ascertain the level of damage to the bridge which is nearing collapse. The report. Engineer Suleimani Hayari Chifa appealed to the people of Matari and surrounding communities to exercise patience as very soon work will commence for the safety of lives and properties. I saw the situation of Matari Dam. Uh, the situation is highly sympathetic because the way I see, I saw the road that is linking such community with what I saw on ground, uh, the road could be cut off at any moment for now. So the situation is really sympathetic and it requires urgent attention. The council chairman said already a report about the collapse of the bridge has been sent to the office of the executive governor, Malam Nasr Amir Erupai and the state government will collaborate with his council for the reconstruction of the bridge. Uh, as a chairman of the local government, I became so much concerned uh, looking at the people and the number of the people that were going to be affected by this uh, situation. Uh, I have written to the state government already. Uh, I have copied the letter to Ministry for Works but the letter is addressed to His Excellency. However, on the interim, the local government is uh, trying to, to do certain things, at least to ensure that the, the erosion does not continue, pending the intervention by the state government. Expressing the abuse, some affected communities, the Wakile Meangwa Matari, Mala Musa, Dauda Halidu, and Matari Youth Leader, Alaji Nasuru Haruna, appeal to both Soba local council and the state government to come to their aid towards reconstructing the bridge. Chairman Yazu Yagawanang Yenki Wangada Namu in the Puskanta. The chairman saw the deteriorating condition of the bridge. I our bridge is about collapsing. We call on the local and state government to do the needful. It's been long. We appeal for the construction of the bridge. They noted that the bridge links Matari village with about eight communities and call on the two tiers of government to hasten the commencement of the work 
for easy passage abubakar dan yaro reporting from so local government area that was abubakar dan yaro's report on the collapse bridge and joining us in the studio is a kaduna based public analyst comrade Abdul Babo to shed more light on this development. Comrade, you're welcome to the program, Kaduna Report. It's a pleasure being with you, Haja, and uh, good day to the viewing and uh, listening public. Thank you so much for that. It's now, we just watched, we watched the visuals together. Yeah. What is just your reaction to that collapse bridge? In fact, uh, it is quite pathetic and uh, it is uh, uncalled for at this uh, critical stage we find ourselves into because uh, for most of them who are peasant farmers this is the right time they should go to their farm and uh, make the bumper harvest out of anything they so wish to indulge into and uh, fundamentally you uh, roads and bridges are part of the economic uh, activities that uh, revamp any society not just uh, this uh, rural and interior part of it. So it is pathetic and uh, I wish their call will be to the listening ears of uh, His Excellency Malan Nasur Erufai to speed it up so that uh, they won't be left out of uh, this uh, harvest of the time. Now let's look at generally the importance of bridges in, 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 in in, in the development of societies? Yes, uh, like I rightly said, uh, it's one among the factors that are fundamental towards economic uh, uh, driven society. Uh, the human capital development can't be without uh, road networks which cut across with bridges on them. Uh, urbanization cannot be without uh, good red road networks and uh, they attract a lot of GDPs when it comes to economic activities. Some of the little, little uh, indices that make up uh, the country's GDP are from uh, services that comes through this uh, road networking. And uh, they are less in, uh, in, in, uh, co in economic value, they are less, not to compare with uh, that of uh, uh, the air uh, transportation and that of uh, the rail. So I think uh, it is very, very important uh, to have good road networks. They even attract uh, tourists to most urban cities. And uh, for this uh, bridge that has collapsed mm -hmm. in the Soba, mm -hmm. I so much felt for the citizens of that area mm -hmm. because uh, one, most of their economic activities and other social even inclusive will be rendered to nothing. So it is high time they should look into it and uh, make hay when the sun, sun is shining. Shines, like the, like the, the, the saying goes. Exactly. Now, um, um, it has collapsed. What is the next thing to do now to yes. help this community? Yes, uh, you see... Government on one hand yeah. and the people of the community on the other hand. Yes, you see... Uh, for the government, I think uh, it is very necessary because as those are some of the social contracts uh, the citizens sign with uh, government towards governance. And uh, for the citizenry, they shouldn't just sit down and uh, say uh, it's a government thing because it is mostly affecting them more than who the duty bearer that is supposed to be mm -hmm. uh, on the supply side than any other person. Mm -hmm. So they are even feeling the effect more. So I crave the indulgence of His Excellency even. If they, there's a contractor that will be going there, they should lines with the local government and the community to even have a direct level that uh, will equally make it inclusive so that uh, the citizens will feel an ownership of uh, the bridge mm -hmm. if completed. Because uh, there are situations you see uh, road networks are being done for citizens, but uh, those small, small asphalts that are enable us to keep the road proper, you will see some citizens go to fetch them to their respective homes. Mm -hmm. So because of lack of inclusiveness, but once government comes on board and uh, include them 
and let them know that uh, they own this project. I think uh, it will be nice and uh, yeah, everybody will be happy carrying the project along. Fine. That brings, that brings me to the question of um, or to the issue of maintenance culture. Yeah. Like I said earlier, it's one thing for government to do and it's another thing for we as citizens and indigenous and people of the community to take, take care of um, such infrastructure. Yeah. So what do you advise here? Yeah, you see, most of the times, if government will have uh, what we call uh, charters coming from the citizens, government charter, the needs of the community should be coming from the community, not you as a government, you decide this is what I want in community A or community B or community C. Once you bring up the citizens to determine what they want. They take ownership fully. This is what we want. So, uh, most of the times you see, like them now, it's a bridge and a, a road network that uh, they need. And most of the time, government priority is maybe hospital or school within that community. So these are the disparities that are causing uh, lack of ownership that one citizens crave for and bring up projects within themselves and government key into through community development charters citizens take ownership of it as if it's their personal property and government should make sure uh, government should drive on that processes so that uh, citizens will be taking ownership of what is provided for them well, well, I, I, I reckon that is your advice to the people and government exactly okay that was a public analyst comrade Abdul but who's speaking on the significance of bridges to the socio-economic development of people especially those at the rural level thank you very much comrade for coming on the program Ajay, it's always a pleasure we'll take a too. break and terminal reports returns shortly stay with us and Welcome back. This is Kaduna Reports coming to you live on the combined service of KSMC Television and Radio Kaduna. Earlier, you heard that communities in Matari to smile soon as Soba chairman promises to construct the collapsing Matari Bridge. And still to come, government attention turns to the Kaguru Manchak Joss Road, which has been a death trap for those plying it. The program Kaduna Reports now continues. Access to good roads is an essential component of infrastructural development of any society. Reverse is the case if a road is not motorable. For motorists that apply the Kagoro Manchok Just Road in our local government area of Kaduna State, this luxury has eluded them. They have been going through hardship due to the poor condition of the road, with the situation getting worse during the rainy season. The residents had, through Kaduna reports again, appealed to the Kaduna state government to rehabilitate the road in view of its very poor condition. That effort yielded results, as you will hear in this report by Wisdom Adamu, presented by Zainab Ibrahim Jumari. 
It could be recalled that the road users who spoke to KSMC said driving through the road, especially from Kagoru to Gawara headquarters of the Gawara local government area, is an experience no driver or road user would want to have twice because of the impacts on the vehicles and inconveniences for drivers. <laughs> We suffer untold hardship due to the poor condition of the road. We need government intervention. We experience a lot of issues on the road. Most of our daily activities, we normally follow this road, and even the farm inputs from the farm, and many things, many people do like this road. So please, the government should help us do something, so that at least we will find it easy. Reacting to the outcry, the chairman, current local government council, Mr. Simon Mathias, said the council has since written a letter to the agency on the need to attend the road in view of its deplorable condition. He said the agency has given assurance that rehabilitation work would commence in no distant time. <laughs> We have written and I went to the Ministry of Works and appealed to them so they will rehabilitate the road for us as it is in a bad condition with potholes leading to loss of lives from accidents. They have agreed to work on the road and they spoke with Sema recently. Sema came and assessed the road so they have started patchwork from Samaru. We are expecting them to resume soon. I am appealing to the motorists to be more patient. Mr. Mathias said the agency is already attending to the road from Samaru Katov to Kagoro and, and expressed the hope that they will pay adequate attention to the Kagoro Manchok Joss Road as soon as they are done. He appealed to the motorists plying the road and also residents of the area to exercise more patience as everything possible is being done to fix the road. Zainab Ibrahim Jumari, KSMC. That was Zainab Ibrahim Jumari with the report of wisdom Adamu on the response of the government to the poor condition of the Kaguru Manchok just road in our local government area. We take another message and return shortly. Stay with us then go. Welcome back. This is Kaduna Reports coming to you live on the combined service of KSMC Television and Radio Kaduna. Earlier you heard that motorists plying the Kaguru Manchok Just Road are set to experience less stressful strip trips. And still to come, gully erosion causes havoc to communities in Kachia local government area. The program Kaduna Reports now continues. From Aura local government, Kaduna reports now moves to Kachia local government where Ungwan Ganima, Gabas, and Ungwan Baba communities in Kachia local government area of Kaduna state have been facing threats of gully erosion for years. The widespread destruction of transportation and communication systems, degradation of arable land, contamination of water supply, Isolation of settlements and migration of communities are the aftermath of what gully erosion causes. Gully erosion has also been identified as one of the factors that affect agricultural lands, increased soil loss, as well as surface runoff and lower quality and quantity of water. In Kaduna State, the impact of gully erosion in communities around the state cannot be underemphasized as it has destroyed property worth millions of naira and displaced many people. Among these communities are Angwangani Magabas and Angwambaba communities in Kachia local government area of Kaduna State, which have remained threatened by gully erosion over the years. A visit to the affected communities by a correspondent in the area, Joseph Andrew Majidati, reveals that many houses had collapsed 
as many residents have been forced to migrate as a result of gallery erosion that has been causing havoc to the communities. The report is presented by Hadira Jume al Hassan. Statistics shows that Kaduna State has identified more than 140 locations affected by erosion across the state. Investigation also revealed that every year, gully erosion destroys houses in the area. Yet, non-government organizations or government ministry are yet to show expected concern. A resident of Ungwanganima, Mr. Garba Danganambardi, said, All effort to attract government attention to address the issue is yet to achieve the needed results. This is the United since year 1998. It was just a mere footpath that farmers used to track and go to their respective farm that they cross uh, River Shahu. So, uh, and consequently, it became uh, a drainage. The footpath became a drainage, then it began to go deep as a result became uh, a gully erosion. Mr. Danganabardi said they have no choice than to continue to live in the area despite the dangers posed by the erosion. He appealed to Kaduna State Government to help them search for ecological fund so as to halt the situation. Other members of the community said there is need for quick intervention by the state government in order to halt the situation while stressing the need for Kaduna State Ministry of Environment to show commitment to the communities. Wana oje geski ya kam ya keisha karu goma shabia rienzo muna fama de wana uri. The problem started for the past 15 years. We forwarded a complaint to the authorities, but nothing has been done. Achiki wana narami. Ena maya liga ya apati achiki lami mu. This gale erosion has already affected my house. We are looking for assistance since 2014, but nothing has been done. They express hope that urgent measures will be adopted by relevant authorities to salvage them from the danger posed by the erosion. Hajar and Jumai Halhasan reporting. Take a last break on the program and return. Stay with us then go. That's a wrap on today's edition of Kaduna Reports. Join us tomorrow, same time, for another package of the program. I am Hadiza Bayer Aliu. Have a wonderful evening. Mm -hmm.